Have you ever wondered about the most epic journey on planet Earth? Picture this. A sea of over one and a half million wildebeest, zebras and antelopes thundering across the sweeping plains of Africa in a spectacle of nature that is as breathtaking as it is humbling. This is the Great Migration, the world's largest overland migration and a testament to the indomitable spirit of life itself. This monumental journey spans across the vast landscapes of Tanzania and Kenya, a marathon of about 1,000 miles undertaken by these determined creatures a journey dictated by the rhythms of nature, the ebb and flow of the seasons, and the relentless quest for sustenance. The Great Migration begins in the southern plains of Tanzania's Serengeti, a land teeming with life and echoing with the thunderous hooves of the wildebeest and their companions. As the dry season approaches, the herds move northwards, instinctively searching for greener pastures. They traverse the treacherous terrain of the Serengeti, crossing rivers teeming with crocodiles and fields stalked by predators to reach the lush, grass-filled plains of Kenya's Maasai Mara. But why, you might ask, would these animals undertake such a perilous journey, fraught with danger at every turn? The answer lies in their relentless pursuit of life. The wildebeest, zebras and antelopes are driven by an instinctive need to find fresh grazing lands and water. The Great Migration is a testament to nature's cycle, an intricate dance of life and death, where survival is the ultimate prize. Yet despite the dangers and hardships, the herds press on, united in their common purpose. The Great Migration is not just a journey, it's a testament to the resilience of life, a spectacle that reminds us of our own place in the grand scheme of things. Now imagine being a part of this epic journey, a part of this circle of life. Why do these animals embark on this dangerous trek, you may wonder? The answer lies in the primal instinct of survival. The Great Migration is not a mere spectacle of nature, but an embodiment of the circle of life. The primary driving force behind this mammoth journey is the pursuit of sustenance. Every year, millions of wildebeest, zebras and gazelles traverse the vast plains of East Africa, driven by an instinctive search for food and water. This mass movement of animals is not random or arbitrary. It's dictated by the seasonal rains that transform the dry savanna into fertile grazing lands, brimming with fresh grass, a veritable feast for these herbivores. But it's not just about the seasons. The root of the Great Migration is also influenced by the memory of past migrations embedded deep within the collective consciousness of these herds. Generations of wildebeest and zebra have walked these paths, following the footsteps of their ancestors in an age-old dance with nature. However, journey is far from an easy stroll in the park. The migrants face numerous challenges along the way. Predators lie in wait, ready to seize any opportunity that presents itself. Lions, hyenas and crocodiles are just some of the dangers that these brave adventurers must face. And let's not forget the treacherous river crossings where swift currents and steep banks pose a significant risk. Many animals succumb to these perils, but the circle of life continues unperturbed. Yet, in spite the dangers, these animals press on, driven by a powerful instinct to survive and reproduce. The Great Migration is a testament to the resilience of life, a showcase of nature's raw power and beauty. It's a story of survival, of life and death, of struggle and triumph, survival at its drives this epic journey. What makes this journey the most dangerous in the animal kingdom, you might wonder? The Great Migration, a spectacle of nature, is also a treacherous gauntlet replete with perils lurking at every corner. The animals, driven by an innate instinct, embark on this daunting trek, facing risks that would send chills down the spine of the bravest of us. Predators are the most immediate and visible danger. Lions, the kings of the savannah, lie in wait, their eyes gleaming with anticipation. They strategically position themselves, capitalizing on the chaos and confusion during the migration. A swift chase, a flurry of dust, and another member of the herd meets a swift, though brutal, end. Yet the lions are not the only predators to worry about. The rivers, seemingly tranquil, hide their own monsters. The crocodiles, prehistoric beasts, lurk beneath the surface. They bide their time, waiting for the opportune moment when the unsuspecting wildebeest ventures into the water. 
In a flash of water and teeth, the crocodile strikes, pulling its victim into a death roll, a grim spectacle of nature's harsh realities. The journey itself is fraught with hardships. The animals must travel vast distances with the relentless African sun beating down on them. Food is scarce and the weak or injured quickly fall behind, left at the mercy of the vultures circling above. The river crossings are particularly perilous. The currents are strong and many animals, especially the young and weak, are swept away, their struggle ending in the tumultuous waters. Yet despite these overwhelming odds, the animals persist. Driven by an instinct as old as time itself, they press on, their will to survive stronger than the fear of the dangers they face. It's a testament to the indomitable spirit of life that thrives in the harshest of conditions. This journey is not for the faint-hearted, it's a true test of endurance and survival. The Great Migration, a spectacle of life and death, is a poignant reminder of the resilience and tenacity of life in the face of adversity. What part do we as humans play in this grand spectacle? A question that often stirs in our minds, and rightfully so. As the most dominant species on the planet, we have an undeniable impact on the world around us, even on phenomena as vast and timeless as the Great Migration. Let's take a moment to consider the impact of our actions on these epic journeys. The reality is, human activities have far-reaching effects on the natural world, and the Great Migration is no exception. Climate change, fueled largely by human industry and consumption, is altering weather patterns and disrupting ecosystems. This affects the availability of water and food for the migrating herds, making their journey even more perilous. Land development is another human activity that impacts the Great Migration. As we expand our cities, build our roads, and convert wilderness into farmland, we are shrinking and fragmenting the habitats of migrating species. This not makes their journey longer and more dangerous, but may also lead to conflicts with humans as wildlife is forced to traverse through populated areas Despite these challenges, there's also a positive role that we humans play. We have the to protect and conserve, to ensure that the Great Migration continues its course for generations to come. Conservation from creating protected areas and wildlife corridors to enforcing laws against poaching are crucial in safeguarding this natural spectacle. And let's not forget the role of education and awareness by understanding the importance of the Great Migration, its challenges, and how our actions impact it, we can make informed decisions that contribute to its protection. We can reduce our carbon footprint, support sustainable land development, and promote and participate in conservation efforts. So what part do we play in the Great Migration? We are both the problem and the solution. Our actions directly and indirectly influence the continuation of this natural spectacle. We hold the power to either hinder or help to destroy or to protect. It's a role of great responsibility, one we must not take lightly. Our actions, directly and indirectly, influence the continuation of this natural spectacle. What can we learn from witnessing the Great Migration? Great Migration, this epic journey that unfolds each year, is not just a spectacle for our eyes, but a masterclass in the circle of life. It's a stark reminder of the power and influence of climate on the life cycles of species and the intricate interdependence that exists within the natural world. Every hoof that thunders across the plains, every predator that lies in wait, every blade of grass that springs back into place, they're all part of a grand interconnected dance. A dance that has been choreographed by nature itself over millions of years. The resilience of these migrating herds their determination to survive against all odds is a testament to the tenacity of life. It's a lesson in survival, in adaptation, and in the sheer will to exist. But it's also call to action, a reminder that we too are a part of this dance, that our actions have consequences rippling out across the plains and beyond. It's an invitation to reflect on our role in preserving this wonder of nature, to ensure that the thunder of hooves continues to echo across the Serengeti for generations to come. The Great Migration is a humbling reminder of the breathtaking power and resilience of nature.